Okay, folks, let's uh, Dish. talk about your entertainment. <laughs> I know, this is so much fun. <laughs> Oscar season is officially underway. The nominations for the 92nd Academy Awards were unveiled this morning with actors John Cho and Issa Rae. And joining us now in studio for more on today's nominees, our friend, Variety Senior Editor, Michael Schneider. Hi, Michael. Hello, it's oh, on. It's, it's, it's on. on. Okay. Here we go. Now, of course, I would bend everyone's ear about why Jojo Rabbit is the best movie I've seen in a decade. But uh, we saw a lot of, and Jojo did get a nod, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of them. But, uh, but it was Joker leading the nominations. And I don't know if you guys saw the 60 Minutes piece with Joaquin Phoenix last night. It was kind of fascinating. Yeah. He's a fascinating guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Especially after seeing him at the Globes as well uh, and seeing his acceptance speech, which, right. you know, was I interesting. Very him. Yeah, very him. Yeah, very him. No, but you know him. what? I'm telling you, look up that 60 Minutes piece. You'll, you'll get some insight into how he grew up. Yeah, the, the, it got 11 nominations, the most of any. Now, that's a big deal because it is a comic book movie, which generally aren't recognized but at dark. the Oscars. <laughs> and very dark. And, and you know, very, you know, the, the, the critics were mixed on it as well so uh, not surprised that it was nominated but you know it did get a lot and it sort of overshadowed some of the other films out there some great films you love Jojo I love Parasite mm -hmm. Parasite was nominated uh, uh, for for both uh, best picture and also for best director Parasite very deserving there's Jojo yeah uh, there not many unexpected you know um, nods you know in terms of the Irishman the classic that the Academy really likes once upon a time, once time in Hollywood time. Yeah. Yeah. In 1917 we were showing clips a second ago yeah. uh, when you were talking they rolled some video that had uh, clips of 1970. Yeah, and I think Global we talked one. about after the Globes, that was the big surprise winner at the Globes, so it definitely had momentum after winning Best Drama at the Globes, and so it's definitely in the hunt as well. It could be a real contender now because it does seem to have so much momentum. My okay, theory about the Globes, there. though, I'm sorry, my theory about the Globes, though, was that it was World War One, which was that was their Foreign Press Association, that's their home turf. Right. <laughs> right. There, there's right. A, there's right. a lot of that. <laughs> um, so let's talk about uh, what the critics will be saying and fans in Hollywood. Is this going to be another situation where it's going to be Oscars too white mm -hmm. and not enough women. Well, this year the hashtag is Oscars so male, right? And actually, right. if you saw Issa Rae when they were she even said, I noticed yeah. that. Congratulations to all the men. All, all the <laughs> yeah. men, because yeah. you know. So break it down for our audience. Not a woman director on this list yet again. Yeah, which was uh, you know disappointing. That was also the case with the Globes. So we sort of had a fear that this might happen with the Oscars as well. Yeah, it's uh, so so uh, Little Women, which is one of the greatest uh, best movies of the year, nominated for Best Picture, but Greta Gerwig who was the director and who is you know really up and coming was not nominated. Uh, Lulu Wang who directed The Farewell which was snubbed across the board another huge snub great movie uh, also not uh, nominated. That was a so. surprise. J-Lo also snubbed. Yeah Aquafina snubbed. Yeah. Aquafina yeah. won at the Globes mm -hmm. last week mm -hmm. not nominated at all so there seem to be a lot more snubs than surprises this year a lot of good choices but then a lot of big snubs Which well. snub really got you the most? Uh, you know, probably uh, beyond the no female directors, uh, surprised by Aquafina not being nominated, but J-Lo as well. Uh, you know, they're, they're, you, you could go down the list. Uncut Gems, which was, was another movie that I think uh, some people were mixed on, but the critics generally really liked, uh, and, and real uh, outstanding performance by Adam Sandler but, also snubbed. But it was so weird that, you know, Little Women showed up in different categories, but Greta Gerwig, who directed it, didn't get a nod, even though she wrote the thing. Right, right, and that's the classic. You see the joke every year when someone, a picture is nominated, but not the director, did it direct itself? Right, <laughs> exactly. So that was surprising. So the show, The Date, moved up. It's earlier this year than it's ever been on February 9th. Yeah, yeah. And then also, no host again. Do you really feel Is like that that's working? gonna? Yeah. I mean, yeah, and then you know, they, NBC just announced as we talked about this morning, Tina Fey, no Amy Poehler Ricky. coming back, right? Which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I think for I generally that. these shows need hosts, and yeah. I think when Jimmy Kimmel hosted the Oscars, he did a great job. They they managed to pull it off last year because they had a lot of great nominated movies, but also a lot of music oriented movies, uh, such as you know, remember Bohem Bohemian Rhapsody mm -hmm. last year. They were able to open with Queen, which was a great way to start the show. You can't do that every year. But it's a thankless job. Either you hit it out of the park, or, or you're a hero or you are a flop Barrage. and highly yeah. criticized. And very <laughs> few people want it and then the people who they want at the Academy don't want to do it. So it's a no-win proposition. Can we talk about Scarlett Johansson because she made history, right? That was huge. So so she's one of the few now who's been nominated uh, twice in the same year. So nominated both for Jojo Rabbit, your yes. film. Marriage and story. And also for, for Marriage, for marriage story. story. So uh, But Cynthia Revo too for Best Actress yes. and then also for her original song, right? She was one yeah. of the writers on Stand Up. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So speaking of snubs, yeah. Beyonce, her yeah. song Lion King was not nominated. We could go on for on snubs that's, all day. Yeah. But you know, yeah. that's not just a snub that's surprising because the song is so awesome. 
Yeah, how do you not nominate Queen Bay? I know. I'm with you. Like, Especially because you here, want guys. her on the red carpet, just Absolutely. like you want J-Lo on the red carpet. I also carpet. want to say, the director Bong Joon-ho, who did Parasite, which, again, I, I love, too. We saw it the same week we saw Jojo yeah. Rabbit. They just leave you feeling very differently. They're different tones, right? Yeah. Uh, but that's the first Korean film to ever be nominated yes. for Best Picture. And I just have to say, I wish you could t stay longer. Yeah. But we're going to have to thank you now. Absolutely. <laughs> thank we'll you. We'll talk again soon. Yes, we will. It's always good to see you. the show, yeah. February 10th. I hope you'll come in. 92nd Academy Awards. Sunday, February 9th, airing here. Uh, airing not here, airing on ABC. Yeah. That is not us anymore. But we'll do the wrap up the next oh, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us. Absolutely. Um,